Hey, my name is Carol White Evans, and I'm the Chemicals and the Environment Agent here at UF IFAS Extension, Sarasota County. I wanted to take a few minutes to explain a little bit about those large grasshoppers that we see in our yards. And if you've been out hiking, you may have seen them at one of the state parks. The grasshopper is the eastern lover grasshopper, Bromelia mycoptera. Now, the eastern lover is native to Florida and is found throughout the southeastern part of the U.S., from North Carolina down to Florida and west to Texas. They go through incomplete metamorphosis, which consists of three stages, the egg, the nymph, and the adult. The adults start showing up in April and May, and they reach their highest numbers in late summer. At this point, the adult female will then dig a shallow hole and lay a pot of eggs. Each pod typically contains about 60 eggs, and she'll lay up to five pods of eggs in one season. There's only one generation per year. So the most common areas for females to lay those eggs are in low, moist areas, such as along the edge of grassy creek beds, as well as wetlands. Now the eggs will overwinter and the nymphs will emerge in early February and immediately start feeding on the plant material around them. Now the eastern lover grasshopper is one of the largest of the terrestrial insects, reaching up to four inches long as an adult, and the females are generally a little larger than the males. The adult stage has this vibrant uh, color, usually you have yellow or orange or red. And in certain parts of Florida, you may see adults that are primarily black with yellow and pink markings. Now, these bright colors are the insect's way of warning predators that it's best to leave them alone or suffer the consequences. Now, the lover sequesters and synthesizes toxins from the plants it eats, so it is toxic to anything that tries to eat the grasshopper. The adult lover can also secrete an awful smelling toxic froth from the sphericals along the sides of its body when it's threatened. And it can even spray this toxin up to six inches to escape any potential predators. So you really should think twice before trying to, trying to handle these insects. Now, the adult have a set of wings, but they are small compared to the size of the insect. So they, can't only, they can only fly a very short distance. They have a pair of jumpy legs, but the legs are not strong enough to allow the grasshopper to hop. So this grasshopper actually gets around by walking. It's actually more of a slow meander as it looks for food. It really doesn't seem to be in much of a hurry to get anywhere. The name lover comes from an old English word, lorva, which means lazy or clumsy. So it's a fitting description for this particular grasshopper. Now the nipple stage of the eastern lover are quite large for an immature insect, and they are different color from the adults. Now they often are mistaken for another species of grasshopper because of the size and color. They are typically solid black with a bright red or orange or a yellow stripe that runs along their back from the head down to the end of the abdomen. And in order to grow, they will molt or shed their exoskeleton five times before molting a final time into a, an adult. Now, it, these insects are gregarious feeders with huge appetites. This means they feed as a group, as you can see in that top photo, and they can be very destructive. Grasshoppers are an insect that feeds solely on plant material as, they, as both immatures and adults, so they consume a large amount of plant material at an alarming rate. As just mentioned, both the adults and the immatures will feed, on, uh, feed as a group on plants. They are not very picky eaters, but they do have some preferred plant families. When they feed, they cause a lot of damage. They can completely defoliate plants in a short period of time, but this damage is only aesthetic. The plants will recover by regrowing the leaves. A plant may not recover if it's defoliated over and over again, since the leaves are how that plant feeds itself through photosynthesis. So in this case, the defoliation can lead to the plant basically starving for food. But plants in the uh, Amarilla Daisy family are preferred by the lovers, and this includes Amaryllis, Lily, and Crineum. But another favorite plant is the pineapple plant, which is very common in Florida landscapes. However, this grasshopper has a hearty appetite and will eat just about anything it can get its mandibles around. So that's our science in five. 
I'm Carol Wyatt Evans, and I want to say thank you for joining me and learning a little bit about the Eastern Lover Grasshopper. Have a great day.